live, ladies and gents. Tonight we're uh, we're on our way to what is the Whitaker Creek area, and we're gonna go crawfishing. Crawfishing. Yeah. So the deal is, I kind of dragged Scott into this trip. I uh, decided just all of a sudden to get into crawfishing. Uh, you know, we're all social distancing. It's uh, now the first weekend of summer, which is Father's Day weekend, June uh, 15-ish uh, of 2020. So a lot of social distancing going on, so we're gonna get outside and catch some crawfish. It's got four traps, so we're gonna see what happens, and uh, we hope to get a lot for a boil. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, it's hella hot today, so it's, it's perfect weather. We're gonna scout it out, see what's out there, see. Um, the lay of the land looks like. It's been a while since we've been there. I think we've both been there back when we were kids oh, uh, yeah. with our own families. So it's gonna be a little bit like memory lane, but there's not anything at YouTube that's fresh. So uh, hopefully y'all are trying to get on some crawfishing and how to do it, and what traps to use is uh, a great video for you. So hope you enjoy it. Crawfishing baby. You gotta get it. Nine o'clock, just dropped the traps. Got about 20 mosquito bites each. Yup. That's what we do. We're going crawling. Got a spot right here. Can't even see it. Perfect spot. Trick is to be very, very sneaky. So lay the traps out. No one saw us doing our thing. We got the bait in the clutches spots next to the biggest rocks where the biggest crayfish are located. So we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and hopefully they're gonna be full. Let's go. Hopefully we got a, a million crawfish in there. We're gonna go check the other trap over here. See if we crawl we got in there. See if it worked out. All right, let's do it. And just for the record, this is one of the best crawfishing places I've been to during my childhood. So we actually found it by mistake. So it was a nice lucky surprise. We're gonna test it out and see how we do. So far we got a bunch. Water's not too cold. Yeah, it's... Yeah, we're in the second half of June right now in Oregon. Well, we're everywhere, but in Eugene, yeah. The, we're just an hour west of Eugene and the water's pretty warm. And this is when crawfish typically get pretty hungry from what I've learned on other YouTube channels. So let's see what we got here. So that's gonna take his time, get secure. You know, there's no rush. Pull it up, let's see it. All right, actually I see one in there. Little guy. I see two. Two? Okay. So yeah, we got these bait bags, but it just seems that a lot of the crawfish, they, uh, it's hard for them to get to. I was thinking it would allow the bait to last longer, but we're gonna try something a little different. So we're gonna take the bait out of the bait bag, kind of just let it float freely in the cage, and we'll kind of just see how things turn out in the next hour or so. You don't put any water in there because these guys do breathe air. So um, if you leave them in a little, little bit of water, um, they'll breathe up all the air in it and they can actually suffocate. So super important, kind of just, you know, if you're gonna put them in water, you wanna make sure that they're moist, but uh, make sure you have a bubbler added to a bucket of water if you're just gonna leave it in there. Uh, if you're not gonna uh, switch out the water, reoxygenate um, oxygenate it. So uh, yeah, super crucial. Crocky, as you can see, the crawfish is coming toward our bait. We have near shore. They're catching the scent. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sneak up right behind it, and I'm gonna put this net right behind it. So <laughs> we're just gonna scare it right into it and walk in. So as you can see, there's a crawfish and watch. <laughs> Here we are. Checking out the second. Oh! Oh, baby. Oh, I got one! 
Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. All right. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, I see it. Here, get this guy in the bucket. All right, we're going to add these to the pot. They're ready to cook. Here we go. Put them in the water. Ooh, shit. Andrew, what's on your mind? I'm sweating right now. I need to, I need to hydrate. Basically, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to get the final product when all the crawfish look like that. Just like that. <laughs> when the butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we bien. So, grab a crawfish like this, separate it, do a little twist, it pulls off. That easily. Do it again. Look at that. Beautiful. So, once you get to this stage, there's a little vein we gotta pull out. So some people just like to eat it, I don't. It's really preference, but, so we just uh, use your fingernail and we just pull, there we go. So that's the vein right there. So you don't wanna eat that. And there we go. And then I just like to dip in a little bit of water, get all the gunkiness off, ready to eat, dip it, bada bing. Great stuff. Right now, they're not gonna pop out right now. I'm just gonna tell all that shit. Yeah, so I want to rinse these guys out again a couple Get times before we put them in the yeah. Yeah, cooking it up. We're here with my boys. It's my 33rd birthday. Yeah, yeah. We made some crawfish. Yeah, yeah, so we're squeezing it up. Hold this, hold this, hold this. But so far, all we got is lemon. Yeah. 